Hello and welcome to Let's Wander. Today, I'm out with Lila and Buddy in the Day Tripper once again, and we have come to, and I hope I'm going to pronounce this right, Stoke Darbenon. I thought it was Stoke Dabenon. <laughs> anyway, it's a very historical little town, so we're going to go and have a look around, hopefully go and have a look at the church because there's some really old brass in there. So, with all of this being said, let's wander. We parked the day tripper in the train station car park. For £3.75 for the day, it's pretty affordable. The local recreation ground was only a 20 minute stroll away, even with extra sniffing. There are some huge oak trees that form a line that was probably marking a boundary in ancient times. This is the Bob Willis Pavilion, named after England cricket legend and Sky Sports commentator Bob Willis, who passed away from prostate cancer in 2019. Bob Willis was known for his bowling skills, and as a commentator, his passion and dry humour. We made our way along the public bridleway towards St Mary's Church, However, the bridleway was blocked off, so we made our way back to the road. This is St Mary's Church, and it is a part of the Diocese of Guildford. It lies within the grounds of Parkside School. The oldest parts of the church date back to the 7th century, and it is partly built of stone taken from a Roman villa that was situated nearby. St Mary's is recorded as possibly the oldest church in the county of Surrey and dates to around the year 680 AD. In fact, records state that St Mary's was built shortly after the introduction of Christianity to Great Britain by St Augustine. As you enter the churchyard, you pass by memorials to those who fought and died in times of war. Unfortunately, the church was locked and we couldn't go inside to see the famous brasses. Okay, so I had heard that there was a Roman villa in the local vicinity here, and when they built the church, they pulled it down years before the foundations. And if you look here, you can see the terracotta tiles of the Roman villa. It's the same thing we saw when we went to Porchester. This one you don't see every day. A sundial. Beside the side door to St Mary's there are carved stone faces that even today look quite lifelike. You pop your head over the wall and look at this. This must be the River Mole. It's flowing. Very strong. That takes us in of our wander around Stoke Dabbin. Hope you liked it. Hope you like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. And also, if you'd like to help us out and keeping the day tripper running so we can keep making these videos, then please go and check out our Patreon. It's on the link at the top of our page. So if you go on there, you can click on it, you can give us a couple of dollars, a couple of quid, whatever you want. So from me, Chris, the lovely Lila who's Pretty tired out actually looking at her. Bless. And just down here behind me. Oh, God. Oh. 
the buddy boo. This was Lex Wonder. We'll see you again soon. Bye, 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 bye.